How's it going, everybody? Happy Pokemon Day. It's 26th year anniversary of Pokemon. I keep forgetting that today is actually the day of of the Pokemon anniversary. It just it came in an instant. Because it feels like it was just yesterday when they were just announcing the whole schedule thing. But now it's already here. And they already had their direct early this morning at like 6 o'clock. And I'm only just waking up at that time. And I know it's very late in the evening. And I know I haven't uploaded a lot recently even though I said I would. I have an explanation to do, um, which I'll do later, but I mean, but the fans are already freaking out over um, what was shown at the Direct. Now, I'm not going to be watching the actual like full Direct, mainly because the issue is one of the things basically just by the thumbnails already just feels like it's just going to spoil a bunch of stuff that I haven't gone to yet in my playthrough. So I thought I would actually go to the big announcement that everyone is freaking out over. To where we now have Generation 9 announced. Being Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now let's get right into it. Alright. It's definitely an interesting way to introduce a Pokemon game. Introducing more aspects, I guess. Oh, it's Game Freak's office. What's going on in their office? I haven't actually seen like actual like gameplay shots. I've only seen like a couple of. I've only seen like a little bit. Oh, what do we got in here? Boy, wait, it's literally the time travel mechanic coming back. I mean, it's coming back from Arceus again. Ooh, this game looks fully 3D. It reminds me a lot of how Legend Arceus kind of looks. Ooh. Seen bounce rate pit a little, some drift moons, combies, a lot of generation four Pokemon. And of course Meow. Stone Journer. Squad Squadron. Oh, I'm gonna be squabbly. Pikachu! Ooh, I love the detail. Ooh! I think this is what people have. Ooh, I love that. Sorry. That was a cute little Zucchini. Boy, I can definitely tell that the team's still very early in its development with its visual. Wait, are we going to be able to see anything else? Yeah, the starter. There we go. I've seen... I definitely have seen that. That's absolutely no doubt about it. And I've seen all the stuff that people have made jokes about. Do we get to see maybe the legendary? Late 2022. I guess not. Hmm. 
but yeah to be honest this this trailer right here did not exactly spoil so much like other Pokemon game trailers um, usually do as really all we got to see for actual gameplay first of all it definitely does look a lot like um, Legends Arceus just with its visual style um, because a lot of things I mean just like take the water for example it's not exactly like crystal clear but then again it never kind of was but it's definitely very interestingly designed Though my one complaint at the moment is I've seen a bit too much for Sinnoh Pokemon. Or actually no, never mind. I keep forgetting which generations of Pokemon we're from. But I would definitely say that the models and animations are definitely very much brand new, I can tell you that much. Because, I mean, like, if you were to just take, I mean, like, two prime examples for that is one, is that beautifully modeled Seviper having brand new details to it, actually, with those little extra scales, because I don't think that we've ever seen Seviper with its actual scales. Unless I missed something from Legends of Arceus, or if it was ever in... Um, the new Pokemon Snap game, and it had that those details. But I definitely love the attention. My apologies to that. And the second prime example is Magnemite. Like, look at this shiny boy. He is shiny. Like, he literally just looks like a metal orb. And I'm honestly wondering how fans are reacting to this. To be honest. Because fans, because ever since like Pokemon Sword and Shield, fans have been like extremely picky late as of lately with the models, the animations, and things like that. I don't exactly know what happened ever since the Switch came out and fans started becoming a lot more picky, I guess. But I definitely do like this new kind of like shift in the models. As. Um. It does kind of fit well with the. With of course the whole visual. And it definitely looks like more of a medieval kind of time. Judging by kind of like that big castle. Oh no never mind. I, I forget that they add windmills and such. But there is definitely a lot for wild, I mean, for wild areas, which I'm guessing that maybe Legends Arceus was just kind of experimenting with the fully 3D free roam. But I can definitely see that there's a lot of things that they would need to patch out on some of the visuals. But it is definitely a very big start, and that tower is very much beautiful. Though, if I might say something about those towers, I don't know what it is, but um, those little prongs on the that surround the Pokeball, they just kind of, they remind me of the way a building is structured in one of the Pokemon movies, the Darkrai movie. I'm trying to remember what it was called in such a long time, but it just reminds me of that. And which I'm sure that you guys probably understand where I'm getting. And also, I completely forgot to mention about the player itself. In a way, whenever I first seen the player, um, from seeing a screenshot, all I think of is like, is he a bug, I mean, is he a bug catcher? Because I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong, like, he has a similar kind of hat. Um, let me think. As for our three starters that we're now getting, 
I feel like that this this trio is a bit of an interesting one, in my opinion. They don't. I mean, they look all neat and everything. Um. I mean, the little fire guy is probably my favorite of the bunch, as I just love just his derpy, kind of more playful look. In which I haven't really seen a fire starter like this in a while. Though its color scheme does heavily remind me of Score Bunny, to where it's got it's mainly just reds, yellows, and tannish or white. Which I mean, I guess that makes sense for a lot of fire types, but I've been starting to notice a trend. But also, I kind of like its structure, to where it definitely looks kind of like in a way it's like a mix of like a hippo. But also mixed with kind of like some sort of salamander, in a way. And I like his little, his small little tufts of fur and his little, his little teeth. He, he's very cute. He, he looks like someone you can cuddle. I wonder what kind of like, if he was to get a secondary type, like what kind of type he would get. If I was to take a guess, I would say maybe rock or ground. Which would definitely be a unique type combination we haven't seen in in a my apologies yeah rock and ground and rock or ground mixed with fire would definitely be a unique typing um, not seen before with the with the starters for fire types the grass type starter is I get a lot of I can understand where a lot of people are getting lit and vibes from it. With the similar kind of like feline structure and everything. In a way it's just kind of like a cat in a, a grass type version of Litten in a way. But it definitely does the job well and I'm honest, and I'm wondering what kind of approach they're going to take with it. If it's going to be completely but and if it's going to be caught. Bleh. Can't speak. It makes me wonder if it's going to be a completely a quadruped the whole Wait, well, as it's been a while since we've had a quadruped in a starter line for the grass types. As lately, they've all just been bipedals ever since, well, ever since Nivy, but that's just no arms or legs, really. Um, in which, in a way, it just kind of makes me think of it as if it was like Leafeon as well. And then the water type one is probably the one that sticks out to me as a little weird in my opinion. With that weird way it's hair is designed and it just looks also a bit... Like other than the hair, the rest of it just looks kind of like a ducklet in a way. Just like a, a pure white ducklet in a way. Um, but honestly, I mainly just been more of a fire and grass kind of starter. But I can definitely tell you that the memes have really been very interesting on this. Especially with the fire and water starters. Because um, for our little duckling um, water starter, I've seen so many people just don I mean, just connect it with Donald. In which I completely see that and I cannot unsee the Donald in him. In which if I was to ever have one, I would name him Donald. Now, as for the fire starter, I don't know why, but whenever I see him, I think of kind of like other video game characters. So like the, um, I kind of like think of like hungry, hungry hippos. I think of the little dragons from Dig Dug. I just kind of think of like cute, like little, um, video game villains that just they're like short and round, but just have like a big mouth. Um, I haven't exactly seen much for any sort of, like, um, funny content with, the uh, um, with the grass starter, but, um, I feel like that I would definitely, my first pick would definitely be the fire starter, then the grass starter, then the water starter. That would honestly be my pick, but none of them are truly bad. I don't think that any of them are really actually bad. So, it's definitely good, however, 
I just don't exactly know how I completely feel. Maybe it's just the fact of a new generation and everything. But it just always just feels weird anymore whenever a new generation is announced. Because, I mean, like, back then, like, back whenever Generation 7 was announced, like, I was still, like, extremely excited and everything, but that was still on a handheld console. But ever since, like, it, everything moved on the Switch, I just feel that, like, the Zyas a lot more anymore have been, like, a hit and miss with, with any Pokemon. As Galar was kind of just a prime example of... Of just Pokemon designs that I just didn't exactly connect to. If you get what I mean. And yes, we've only seen just these three new Pokemon. But anymore, I just keep on thinking that I'm just seeing fan-made Pokemon that people have made. Because people have just made so many fan-made creations to where, like, yes, anything could look like a fan-made or official. But it's like, I just don't know. But, if I was to have, honestly, all three starters, like, if I was to, like, understand a little bit more about them, I would definitely all give them nicknames. But for right now, I've got little, I've got Donald for one of them. So that's a start. It's a very good start. Um, was there anything else I missed out on? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I honestly don't think there was exactly that much to exactly talk about. Yes, there was about three minutes of of the video, but there, I mean, at least like the first third of it, or even half of it, well, technically almost like more than half of it was just kind of the, um, the IRL stuff, the, and not exactly much of the actual game itself. So... Yeah, just this just feels weird not having much to talk about because I'm usually just so used to having so much to talk about, but that's usually for trailers to have a lot more content. Um, but I definitely do have something to explain. Um, I know I told you all guys on like Instagram and such and on my last video that I would try to have a more consistent uploading schedule. Um, and yes, I know I haven't uploaded a new Legends Arceus video in a while, and I know that the last video had a lot of visual and audio bugs going on with it, and this was even after I got the, the new flash drive. So, after, after doing some, after looking around, I think that in some hard thought, I finally came to the conclusion that I just think it's time to get a new capture card as it just seems to not exactly be at its peak performance anymore. So I just think that I need to get a new capture card and a bit more of a better quality one so that I'm not exactly using a cheaper one like the one I was currently using for the past three years or so. So I hope you do understand, again, the break that I'm having to take before I can even get another capture card or continuing Legends Arceus, but I will definitely be trying to at least do something, try to find any sort of like videos to react to, any sort of FNAF fan games or other games to record on PC and such, or if I find any other ways to record other games content but do always just tell me ideas for any sort of like games FNAF fan games or anything like that like just recommend it anything that might fit my channel or anything or that I might want to try and I think that's about everything I think you're all just about caught up on what's going on so thank you all so, so much for watching Happy Pokemon Day, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.